Right, um, so I'm giving out two million naira today, right? But before then, let me quickly say something. See this post. Apply for your seventy thousand naira family grant sponsored by Very Dark Man. Apply for your seventy. All right, please. I am not aware of this post. This is obviously somebody that is trying to use my face to scam. The person wrote uh, federal government grants. Hello and welcome to today's video on Amibo Osin News. And today we have a gist that is more like an update especially if you're fast enough so vdm has come out to say he's going to be giving out two million to the nigerian um, uh, people for them to learn a skill so basically all you have to do is going to go to his um um i think instagram and facebook and then comment but wait there, there's a lot of things you're going to be getting from this video okay you can just go there and then um it's already over so basically you have to um not not his youtube his youtube and tiktok he's not picking from there he's going to pick in from his um instagram and facebook so all i have to do is go to the instagram look for the particular video where he is giving out um the money so that's basically it please now i'm back to the um two million that i want to give one million is on instagram and one million is on facebook now one million that will be on instagram will, will be for five people right you know how my own giveaway is, right? My own is not giveaway call let money go chop. No, I know you do that one. You must tell me who the work where you want to use and learn. My own, you must learn work. And I'm not giving you the money directly. That's another thing. When you say the work you want to learn, I'll go through the page. I'll pick the people that I like. We'll contact the person. We'll contact you. You give us the number of the person that you want to learn with. Then we'll now confirm the people that, yes, these people are going to teach you. Before you go use one of your friends, they collect our money. Do you understand? So that's all I do. I will not give you the money so that you go and learn work. It's hand work. I want you to learn with my own money. I'm not giving it to go and smoke it, go or go and chill or go use the money, go play betting. No. So five people, I'll pick five people on, on, on Instagram under the comment section. And I'll pick five people on Facebook under the comment section. You just need to have hand work. Hand work is power. Hand work is power. Oh, uh -huh. and for the NGO, the current money in the NGO now is... um. As you can see, 11, 12, that was when the last money came in. The current money in the accounts, the person sent 20 naira. So the account, the money reflecting is 228,397,000 naira. So 228,000,000 is in the account now as we speak. So I am doing Facebook 1 million, Instagram 1 million. The next one will be YouTube 1 million and TikTok 1 million naira. And as you all know, like I said, my own money, I am not giving you to go and chill. It's for you to learn hand work because i believe that hand work is power thank you very much peace and love and don't play if you play with your life you're gonna learn and you will learn the hard way when you start begging don't play <laughs> <laughs> and again another thing we have to talk about today is um this stuff about david doe and the interview he had so in the interview he said something and um it was more like telling the people, the investors that were, or they asked them something, if people could invest or people that want to come back to Nigeria, was like, come back where? And then he explained that the Nigerian economy is in shambles and um, more people know we think that they come back for all this kind of stuff and um, he has been having a lot of backlash from different people even people like reno mockery um did a video about um that particular stuff and um vdm also reacted to it and d1 so i'll be dropping a video now exp um, that's with them talking about this stuff so do also like subscribe and share this video all right um, so the video say nigerian economy is in shambles and i see a lot of people they attack them do you understand even that's one opening mouth in suck away where they come out you know they, they vomit sheets that's mumu where they call it no mokri Open your mouth, they talk nonsense, right? They say, well, I don't even think anybody will take Reno Mogri serious. This is not the same person who thought say Tinubu na drug lord. He go do big protests when Tinubu go UK. He do protests, he drug lord, come out, embarrass Tinubu. Tinubu tongue president, now he come back, come with Tinubu again. My question to him, he never still answer. Do you also want to become a drug lord? Because what are you doing with an alleged drug lord, according to you? But that's number one. Now, they don't say the country's economy is in shambles. People are attacking him. Let's start with the countries that left Nigeria. In 2024, we'll be going back. 2024 from January to October. In the first six months of 2024, at least five significant companies exited as the business clim climate remained difficult. This includes Microsoft Nigeria, Total Energies Nigeria, and PZ Kuzon, um, Kimberly Clark Nigeria, and um, Diageo PLC. 
Now let's go to 2023. The wave of exit continued in 2023 as over 10 major companies pulled out from Nigeria, citing uh, profitability concern and challenging business conditions. Notable departure include Unilever, Nigerian PLC, Procter, Procter and Gamble Nigeria, uh, Glazo Smith Klein, consumer company, ShopRite Nigeria, um, Sanofi Aventis Nigeria, Equinox Nigeria, Boats Food and Jumia Food Nigeria. They all left because of the economy. 2022, all these things now are under APC regime. 2022, the trend persisted in 2022 with more than 15 prominent brand seizing operation in the country, including Universal Rubber Company, Mother Pride Venture, Aaron Product Nigeria, and Gorgeous Metal Makers. Those ones go. In 2021, the departure of the company escalated in 2021 with over 20 firms shutting down operation in Nigeria. Among those who left were Towa Aluminium, uh, Freeman Industry, Stone Industry Limited, Morfex Nigeria Company, um, Shores Foam Limited. In 2020, more than 10 companies addicted Nigerian uh, markets as impact of economic instability and other operational challenges became evident. Notable closure include Standard Biscuit Nigeria, Nasco Fiber Company, Union Trading Company Nigeria PLC, Delhi Food. Now, since we're APC carry power, economy just go like this. And the guy talks, say, the economy is in shambles and all of the attack him. Did he lie? That's the question. Did he lie? We as Nigerians, we are living below $5 a week. A week! A week. Now, you people are using his father as reference. Now, they talk, say, eh, in a country where your father has a $2 billion um, investment plan and you are pursuing the foreigners away from coming to invest in Nigeria, on a get lock. On a get lock, say, no, be mean jam CNN. What do you for you? for waste. You don't use Javido father as a reference. Javido father out of how many million Nigerians? Do you see the way Nigerians eat from hand to mouth? Because of the hardship of this country? What is the price of rice in the market? What is the price of rice in the market? This thing moved from Texas, 70,000 to over 100,000 Naira. We sell minimum wage. What's the price of beans? What's the price of garlic? Egg. Egg used to be 30 Naira. It's, over, it's almost 200, 200 Naira now. It's the same. With the same minimum wage. They said they moved that minimum wage to 80,000 naira. But it's not everybody that pays 80,000 naira. How much is transportation? See the full price. People are suffering. Businesses are folding. And the guy talks say the economy is in shambles. And I say the boy, just talking, yeah, you are chasing foreigners away. You people are lucky. Say no be legal talk. It doesn't mean me. Now by mistake, say and just say, very dark man, come here. First thing I will talk, if you bring your company to Nigeria, if your MD is going home, they will kidnap him along Kogi Road first. I'll tell them about insecurity first. Insecurity first. The way that they kidnap people first. Now I'll tell them. You know, stop there. I'll tell them, say, if your Peking is going home, do you understand? And he follow one kind road, they can do accidental discharge. The security agencies can do accidental discharge. That one, nana, number two. I'll come tell them, say, if your child is in school and he's playing with two flags, like this, your child that does not know your 10 years old, 11 year old child is playing with flag that we are arresting for treason because in this country now they used to lock children. Yes, now. Yes, now. You know how many things they need to talk about Nigeria? When I get locked, the video is nice, even use proper English. Then that woman for TVC just open her wide mouth. Wide mouth, like say the open fridge. Just did they come on cold rubbish. They speak because you can speak English. Because you can speak English. You know how many children don't go to school because of the insecurity of their own their own region. See primary school where they show you which day the roof don't come out. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Because you could go to school, you open your mind. Did David don't lie? Did David don't lie? Did David don't lie? See Mr. Patrick Doyle, the, the husband to the team, the ex-husband to the team Doyle. The question, sir, with all due respect, did David don't lie? When I release a papa name, they please papa name. His father don't make you own. But the people around where his father is staying, how are they living? Mona, go my coco now. Go my coco now. Go my coco. If you enter, they talk me language. Look, my coco. Your economy is good. We are not saying there should be no poor. There must be poor people everywhere. But if your economy is good, we'll see it. Place where no lights. In 2024, we'll see the fine problem with lights. Bring company and see whether you go get lights. Yeah. When I go get lights to power your company, you go burn this with your eye, will clear. If you do talk all of now, they vibrate. I'll go kill everybody where they vibrate, where they criticize. I'll go kill all of now. And y'all better stop calling his name, else you're gonna learn. And y'all will learn the hard way. Don't play. Make a gig that in, especially that Reno. Big head. David, I beg. Sometimes, eh? Try and learn how to behave from whiskey that big. I don't know who's in your. 
But some of the things that you do, if like I say you're not even know, say you be a leader in only two way. Yeah, a leader in your only two way. You are talented. Whiskey is also talented. But whiskey projects Nigeria better. It projects Nigeria more. No fake this thing. Your own are the one we consign you. Okay, the economy is a shambles. When all these YouTubers they come, now the only now the one way popular, now you the help. So that it can help you. Not be saying the love now, true love. <laughs> now, because you need to tap into their audience. We know this is that. Do you understand? If anybody is supposed to complain, eh, it's supposed to be whiskey. Because Nigeria never favor whiskey family the way it is favor a delicate family. What is it that you people want in this country you have not gotten? Eh? No bad, not happy for you people. But it shouldn't come out from your mouth saying that the economy is in shambles. It should not matter. Be say I'm not going to lie. Give you every one of us. We are contributing to the fact that the economy is in shambles. Everybody, we need to take responsibility. You don't understand? You they claim say the economy is in shambles. okay. What have you done? You what have you done to sing song? That one are you for your pocket now. Huh? What have you contributed? What have you contributed? I they ask you. I they fear you. We say that all this year, 30 BG, we no get level. Now go to fear. Things like this are just disheartening. You could all tire. We know say the country bad. Yes. We know. But what have you done now? Apart from tweet and talk about it. What have you done? Well, you want to remind us. Okay, now your uncle Day or Shuna, what has he done? What has he done? Okay, let's say the economy of Nigeria is in shambles. Okay, the economy of Oshun State. How is it better when he became governor? She be they don't give him a power now. Uh -huh. What has he done? Now, when you reach election now, will they see you? You come outside now, say, oh, we're coming to take power. What has he done now? You don't give us the break. What he don't do? These are the little, little things, eh? That make see at the end of the day, hmm? look at what whiskey, even in whiskey song, you know they identify with any place now. Just open my say they're buying for ATL. Oh, yeah, go there, go make money now. You they come and make money, go go talk bad for that side. You know, understand every one of us can make this thing better in our only two way. Y'all come here, they remind us of what we know already. Oh, yeah, what is the solution now? Yo, you are talented though. If they play your song now, let me go first dance. I'm not saying this because, oh, you know, it does not take the fact that you are talent. You are talented, rather. But that statement was careless, very careless of you. And you see the form, macho man. Chief, go one side. If I see you today, I'll greet you. If you, if you, if you want to greet me, fine. Fine, you, you greet me, don't give me any money. You don't understand? But I'll tell you the truth. If nobody will tell you the truth, I'll tell you the truth. You don't open mouth and talk like that. No, 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 no. It's shambles. Yeah. Oh yeah, you want come? Should we start talking about how this country has benefited? How you you people have benefited from this country? Open up the sector now. If you think that what you are doing is magic, open up the sector and see if people will not make money more than unasef. So next time, eh? Next time, think about the effect of your talk, not just on yourself, on the nation. Not be saying get it, but you don't dampen a lot of people more. You know how many millions of men? You know millions of people in this country. Puma they say is a shambles. Don't understand. From the same country we make you. That's very ungrateful of you. This idea is that whiskey, wherever I day, you must project Nigeria. You must project to do a leg, but you must talk well. But your own, no. You reach election now, you begin beggars for votes. Oh yeah, your uncle wait there. I put it to you. What has he done? How is the economy of is or how much is or state generating now? It's easy to talk. Oh yeah, repair the country now. You know, I'll be that now president will do everything. If the president will do everything, that means your your uncle will be governor, so we don't do everything. I'll be a people not part of the leaders. You are part of the leaders now. Which case is you supposed to complain because none of your family members they, they, they are not in power. Come here now, it is an always a big talk. Call it say God bless Nigeria. God go bless Nigeria before. Go and sit down. Next time, don't make such careless statements. Oh, yeah, 30 BG, come for me. Shalom. 
Recently, the singer Davido was on a podcast in the United States, a global podcast, and he made a comment about Nigeria's economy being in shambles. And that comment has drawn a lot of reactions and responses. And one of the things that a few people are using to justify the comment is the value of the Naira. And a lot of people don't understand the economics behind it. I'm going to try to explain it to you. When you use the value of the Naira from the 80s under President Shagari, you know, through the 90s under Bacha, and then to President Obasanjo, all the way to General Muhammad Buhari, you know, you're not doing the right thing because the value of the Naira then wasn't the accurate value. The Naira was pegged. And because it was pegged, the Naira was being defended monthly. We started in the 80s with about $200 million monthly, and then it grew to an astronomical amount under General Buhari of about $1.5 billion every month. So basically, we were subsidizing the Naira. So all of that cheap dollars that we we're getting is because the Central Bank of Nigeria was subsidizing the Naira. And we weren't using that money to just imagine if we were using $1.5 billion to provide infrastructure, to build roads, to build energy plants, to build hospitals, to build schools. Imagine where Nigeria would be now. And what were we using that money for? And please, you can fact check me. You know, we we're using that money to buy $75 million worth of French champagne, you know, 25 million pounds for, of uh, Scotch whiskey. We're spending the money on human hair. We may spend about $200 million on human hair because the dollar was cheap. And what was happening is that people were not in, were not in manufacturing in Nigeria, so it was just cheaper to import. You know, things that we could make in Nigeria like uh, tomato paste, toothpick, pizza, you know, even spring water, we were importing them. And so what the Tinubu administration has done is to stop that subsidy and to allow the Naira float. So what we now have is a floated currency. Basically, a floated currency is that it is governed by the laws of demand and supply. So that's why the currency just suddenly devalued. It's not because of bad governance. It's actually a good thing. Now, you see what's happening because of that. Nigerians can no longer afford a lot of imported things. And what's the result of that? We are now producing and manufacturing those things in Nigeria. The Dangote tomato paste factory has now come back up in Kano. Why? Because we can no longer afford to um, import tomato paste from Italy. And so it's now affordable to manufacture in Nigeria and a number of other things. And that's why if you look at the NBS data, our GDP for the third quarter of 2024 was 4.36 higher than most countries. The United States had a GDP of the same period of 2.8. And then unemployment has reduced. According to NBS, unemployment in the second quarter is now 4.2. It's because of this is, you got to understand that there is historical, you know, precedence for this. During the Civil War, we were not importing again because a lot of people, you know, like there was just uh, uh, people who were importing largely in Lagos and in the coastal areas, they went back to Biafra. And so importation just crashed. And because importation crashed, what happened is that we saw people now manufacturing in the Lagos axis of Ikeja, Ijora, and we saw that in 1971, our GDP grew by 25.01. 